Hi, I'm Carl. I created an info blast on why you might want to adopt GraphQL. GraphQL is for creating APIs and was initially published by Facebook in 2015. The most popular convention currently for creating APIs is REST. And before REST, the most popular API standard was SOAP. Looking at Google Trends, REST has now peaked and is on the same downward spiral as SOAP was a decade ago. GraphQL is likely to overtake REST in five years. But GraphQL is really mature today, and language support is great across the board. A lot of big names have already adopted GraphQL. Why? GraphQL is really good at helping you achieve your business goal. It allows you to ask the API exactly what you want and get it in one request. In REST, you'd be asking, can I have all the posts and then have all the authors for these posts? In GraphQL, you'd say, can I have all the posts and their respective authors in a single request? The ability to ask for exactly what you want means you only need to create a single API for all of your clients. Moreover, REST is done differently at every company and sometimes even differently within different teams within that company. But GraphQL requires a contract, a schema. This is great. It means it's always fully documented by default. This gives discoverability of your API and amazing tooling which saves countless of developer hours. I'm in Graphical right now, a common GraphQL endpoint explorer, which can be hooked up to any GraphQL endpoint. This example endpoint exposes data from the Star Wars universe. Because of the schema, the whole API can be explored interactively. I may want all the films with title, director, and release date. Then let's get all the planets featured in a respective movie. Bam! It's incredibly productive to consume GraphQL APIs. You can even split up a schema so different teams and services are responsible for separate parts of the schema and stitch it together into a central schema which encompasses your whole business. You can also integrate third-party APIs, implement the joining logic once in your GraphQL API, and let anyone in your company leverage the work. For example, you may want to let anyone get a user and join in the Stripe data of that user without them having to integrate into Stripe separately. If you're in the business of providing APIs, this is probably going to be table stakes. Going forward, developers will expect GraphQL, and you basically won't be able to compete as an API provider without it. That's it. I hope you found this informative, and uh, see you later. Cheers.